I didn't expect to see you here. A little, just for fun. Do you play? I see. Not too long. Plus, I'm next on the wait list. So once the court opens up, I'll be able to play. Anyone who's available. Sure, but I have to warn you, I'm a bit rusty. I haven't played much this season. that impression. You must have a lot of faith in me. I actually have an extra you can use. Oh no, that's okay! Good game! You did really well! sure I have time for that kind of commitment. Hey, are you guys finished? Oh, yes, we just finished. Actually, we were wondering if you two would be interested in a doubles match. Sounds like fun! Great, you guys can serve first. It's not your fault. Sometimes this house can be too... Thanks, bud. But I've got it. Just some work stuff. of things.
You okay? Oh, no, you're not bothering me. I'm just a little distracted since I'm doing a final look at our contracts for the restaurant. Yeah, we do, but as regional manager, I have to look at them first to make sure they include everything we discuss. Then I send it to the deal desk to make sure all the legalese is correct and that there are no hidden clauses. We're opening up a new cafe in the next month, hence all the new contracts. Yeah. Actually, it won't be too far away. You know that empty lot in the strip? Yep, that's where it'll be. Have you been to any of our other restaurants yet? Yeah, did you like it? Huh, that's awesome. Which one did you go to? I'm sure... You've never been there before, have you? Well, if you get the chance, you should try the place near the park. It serves western-style cuisine and is very popular in Isokaze. I know it won't be exactly like the food you had back in the States, but I'd be curious to see how you like it. Thanks! Oh, sorry, Calorie. I'm already getting a headache. We could ask the same for you. I guess that makes sense. We were... Remember when we told you about us forming our own team because it didn't work out with the previous one? Let's just say, we all decided to pick the same gym class to train together, but as you know, it didn't work out. <laughs> something like that. In any case, we figured it'd be easier to switch out than deal with that awkwardness. Uh, well... There's nothing more to tell. It didn't work out, so we changed classes. 
What part of that don't you want? Sorry for the wait, everyone. We had a little issue with the gym's schedule, but that's now been resolved. Please make your way to the locker room. Awesome! We'll see you there, Cowrie. Come with me, Brosif. Hello? Jeez! Zoning out like that when I'm asking you such an important question? What's your favorite flavor of Dongo? What are you talking about, Brosif? See what? Girls wearing their j- I still don't get it. That's what they've always worn. Ever since element- Actually, now that you mention it. My god! What have you done? I won't be able to focus in this class anymore. I was desensitized to this from childhood because my memories never associated this attire with perversion, and thus there was nothing to be perverted about! I don't know, man! I'm too distracted to think clear! What are you two yelling about? Uh... Are you really trying to hit on me with a line like that? Thanks. Not quite. No. What? You're usually on top of this stuff. I've been busy. This team isn't the only thing I focus on. Really? This is why I chose you to join our team. You make things happen. That too. Be quiet. Uh, my legs feel like they're on fire. Class wasn't that hard. She's a cyborg, a human mecha hybrid. Well, that was fun. 
I got some stuff to take care of, though. I'll catch you on the... Same. I'll talk to you guys later. Do you have any more classes today? That must be nice. So, how are you spending your free time between classes? Anything fun? Ah! What made you decide to be a pilot? Eagle must be really special to you then. So why didn't you go into engineering? I actually almost joined the pilot program. But the biggest reason I chose to study PHPT is because pilot health and safety is frequently over. Pilots go through a rigorous training process, and people don't consider the long-term effects that training has on a person. Especially when you're talking about G-Force training and the like. Being a pilot can take more of a toll on your body than you know. Try my best. Yes, definitely. Most people tend to forget that a healthy mind is just as important as a healthy body. But an unhealthy mind can just be as destructive, if not more so, than an un... process, and unfortunately, it usually takes a tragedy before people realize there's a flaw in the system. Obviously, a pilot has to pass a mental health evaluation before he can earn his license, but that screening needs to be more rigorous and more frequent. Some mental illnesses are easily diagnosed, but some are more tricky and some can disappear and reappear like depression or addictions. Those are hard conditions to spot because for the most part, they must be self-reported. But if a pilot knows that he may lose his license because he has this condition, he may not report it. It could reach a level where he would not only endanger himself, but those around him. They absolutely should, but the way the current system works, the responsibility falls on the pilot himself and not his pilots who are on anxiety or depression medication can also be disqualified from earning their license just because there are arguments for both sides the pilot is being punished for treating his condition and because he uses the medication he should be considered to be in sound mind on the other hand Someone who is using the medication has a greater potential for significant underlying psychiatric or psychologic problems, and the side effects of medication is always unpredictable. I'm a strong advocate for reform. We need pilots to understand. 
understand the severity of these conditions, and we can't encourage an environment of secrecy because that is what puts. Sorry, I didn't mean to yell at you. Ah, I need to get going. Okay.